The Edmonton Oilers wrap up a four game homestand in the first of two meetings with the Carolina Hurricanes. The matchup boasts the league's top two penalty kill units since November 9th, with the Hurricanes at 93.3% and the Oilers 90.5. Everybody watches every team in the league. You know, you, you don't. You don't maybe watch them as much as like, or you see them as much as your division teams, but you still understand what they're doing. There's still players that you have, uh, that you know, and you know, there's enough, there's enough uh, familiarity with most teams in the league. And, and the pre-scouts are done the same way. You do an in-depth dive into every team. It just happens you don't do it as much on that team. Carolina has allowed two goals or less in six of their last eight games, while the Oilers are 5-4-1 and one in their last 10 and feel there's some unfinished business to address in getting into the win column. Well, they embrace winning. It's, it's about winning, and they, they show up at the rink just like coaches do. We, we want to show up and win every day, and you know we all get to play a game, and it's great, but you, but there's, you, want to, you want to do well. You want to win, and the players show up with the mindset of how how they prepare individually, but then they, they think about how we can do this as a group. Not satisfied, I can tell in that locker room. You don't see um, you know, guys getting too up or down. You know, they're really consistent, especially the top guys. You know, they know that um, the, the league changes really quick, um, and they show up to every game. You know, it's, it's important every night. You know, they're not resting on their laurels, so that's something um, as a young guy that I look at and um, I'm trying to emulate. Head coach Dave Tippett confirming Caleb Jones will be in the lineup after scoring a goal in his only game down in Bakersfield, and as for his approach, Jones is taking it all in stride. It just helps, you know, my game as a player, knowing that the coach has confidence to put you out there, and um, I think we'll be playing on the right side again tonight, so that's a side I've been on for a few years and I'm comfortable with, and, um, you know, I'm not going to try to do anything crazy, just go out there and, and contribute to the win and, um, you know, be solid. The Oilers look to improve their record at Rogers Place of 8-4-3 and three, and come out with a sense of urgency on home ice. From Rogers Place, I'm Kate Pedersen for Oilers TV.